Homes for Sale, Home Buyer Blog, What Your Home Inspection Should Cover. Realtor and Area Specialist Mike and Jennifer Wrigley here, bringing you the latest real estate information. Thanks for joining us. Today, let's talk about what your home inspection should cover. Home inspections will vary depending on the type of property you're purchasing. A large historic home, for example, will require a more specialized inspection than a small condominium, obviously. However, the following are the basic elements that a home inspector will check. You can also, also use this list to help you evaluate properties you might want to purchase. So, for more information, try the virtual home inspection at www.ashi.org. It's the website of the American Society of Home Inspectors. Now, what should they look for? The structure. A home skeleton impacts how the property stands up to weather, gravity, and the earth. Structural components include the foundation and the framing, and they should all be inspected. Exterior. The inspector should look at sidewalks, driveways, steps, windows, and doors, a home siding, the trim, the surface drainage that are also part of an exterior inspection. The roofing. A well-maintained roof protects you from rain, snow, and other forces of nature. Take note of the roof's age, conditions of the flashing, roof drainage systems. Does it have any ponding water, buckled shingles, loose gutters, and downspouts, sky, and the chimneys? They should look at the plumbing. They should thoroughly examine the water supply and drainage systems and water heating equipment. Drainage pumps and sump pumps also fall under this category. Poor water pressure, banging pipes, rust spots, or corrosion can indicate problems. The electrical. Safe electrical is essential. Look for the condition of the service entrance wires, service panels, breakers and fuses, and disconnects. Also take note of the number of outlets in each room. Heating. The home's heating system, vent system, flues, and chimneys should be inspected. Look for age of the water heater, whether the size is adequate for the house, speed of recover, and recovery and energy rating. They'll look at the air conditioning. Your inspector should describe your home cooling system, its energy source, and inspect the central and through wall cooling equipment. Consider the age and energy rating of the system as well. Interiors. An inspector, uh, an inspection of the inside of the, of the home can reveal plumbing leaks, insect damage, rot, construction defects, and other issues. An inspector should take a close look at the walls, ceilings, and floors, steps, stairways, railways, countertops, cabinets, garage doors, and garage door systems. You also want them to make sure they're looking at the ventilation and the insulation. To prevent energy loss, they'll check for adequate insulation and ventilation in the attic and in unfurnished areas such as crawl spaces. We also want them to look for proper secured uh, insulation in the walls. Insulation should be appropriate for the climate. Excess moisture in the home can lead to mold and water damage. Check the fireplace. They're charming, but they could be dangerous if not installed properly. Inspectors should examine the system, including the vent and flue, and describe uh, the solid fuel burning appliances. Now, you need help in finding that perfect place to call home? Call us today at 916-378-4671 or Log on to www.wrigleyrealtygroup.com to start your online home search today. Give us a call. You'll be glad you did, and we'll look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.